Good morning. It's September the 27th on Monday, and welcome to morning prayer here at the Cathedral Church of All Saints in Halifax. I'm Margie, one of the lay readers, and today we're going to remember St. Vincent de Paul from 1581. Uh, begin our morning prayer by bringing yourself close to God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws, and we have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults, Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. Grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise you, the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalm for today is number 89. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth, I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you have established your faithfulness in heaven itself. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I've sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and make your throne firm through all generations. The heavens praise your wonders, Lord, your faithfulness too in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies above can compare with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the heavenly beings? In the council of the holy ones, God is greatly feared. He is more awesome than all who surround him. Who is like you, Lord God Almighty? You, Lord, are mighty, and your faithfulness surrounds you. You rule over the surging sea. When its waves mount up, you still them. You crushed Rahab like one of the slain. With your strong arm, you scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours, and yours also the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. You created the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon sing for joy at your name. Your arm is endowed with power. Your hand is strong, your right hand exalted. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence, Lord. They rejoice in your name all day long. They celebrate your righteousness, for you are their glory and strength, and by your favor you exalt our horn. Indeed, our shield belongs to the Lord, our King, to the Holy One of Israel. The lesson today is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Now about virgins, I have no command from the Lord, but I give a judgment as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. Because of the present crisis, I think that it is good for a man to remain as he is. Are you pledged to a woman? Do not seek to be released. Are you free from such a commitment? Do not look for a wife. But if you do marry, you have not sinned. And if a virgin marries, she has not sinned. But those who marry will face many troubles in this life, and I want to spare you this. What I mean, brothers and sisters, is that the time is short. From now on, those who have wives should live as if they do not, and those who mourn as if they did not, 
those who are happy as if they were not, and those who buy something as if it were not theirs to keep, those who use the things of the world as if not engrossed in them, for this world in its present form is passing away. Here endeth the lesson. Today we're just gonna spend a moment remembering St. Vincent de Paul. And he was born in, in April, on April 24th in 1581 and in France, died September 27th, 1660 in Paris. He was canonized in 1837, which means his feast day is September the 27th. He was a French saint founder of the Congregation of the Missions for preaching missions to the peasantry and for educating and training a pastoral clergy, the patron saint of charitable societies. Saint Vincent de Paul is primarily recognized for his charity and compassion for the poor, although he is also known for his reform of the clergy and for his early role in opposing Jansenism that is a theological movement within Catholicism, primarily in France, uh, which emphasized original sin, human depravity, and the necessity of divine grace. He was educated by the Franciscans at Dax in France and ordained in 1600, graduated from the University of Toulouse in 1604, he was allegedly captured at sea by Barbary pilots and sold as a slave, but eventually escaped. He spent a year in Rome to continue his studies and then went to Paris, where he remained permanently. He placed himself under the spiritual guidance of the celebrated Cardinal Pierre de Brule, who entrusted him with the parish of Clichy. After founding the Congregation of the Mission in 1625, Vincent de Paul established in and around Paris the Confraternities of Charity. It's an association of lay women who visited, fed, and nursed the sick and the poor. The wealth of these women, many of noble family, aided him in establishing the foundling and other hospitals with St. Louis de Marillac, he co-founded the Daughters of Charity in 1633. The association was patterned after the confraternities of charity, and it was the first non-cloistered religious institute of women donated to active charitable works. The Lord's Prayer on page 11. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Collect. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit that in all the cares and occupation of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to thy service, 
and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all of our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.